Well, it went off today. Yes, Albertson's IPO, five years in the making. Let's go over the details of what happened, what it means for you, and when you can start investing. So I'm back today, working a double. Two videos for the price of, well, free. Only the best for you, my dear subscribers. If you missed my earlier video on Novavax, please check it out. And to let me know that both videos were worth the time, I'd be extremely grateful for you to hit that like button on both of them. And to anyone new to the channel, I'd love to have you as part of our growing community. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. After all, it's free. And it, along with that notification bell, will make sure you don't miss any upcoming videos. All right, so let's dig into the Albertsons Company's IPO. Today, it actually happened after two previous attempts got nixed. And reports are that this one itself was getting canceled at the last minute. Before we get further into it, we've prepared for this IPO in two previous videos. If you haven't seen those videos yet, definitely check them out as it will help you get a better grasp on if investing in the company makes sense for you. So today, the IPO did not go off exactly as planned. We had a good idea it was going to happen today, but apparently there were some tensions with the current private equity owners and the underwriters that put the entire offering at risk. While it ultimately went off, it did get scaled down as 50 million shares were sold versus the 65.8 million shares that were planned to sell. But that was only one thing that got scaled back as the share price ended up being $16, which was lower than the estimated price within the $18 to $20 range. So what does this mean? Well, my initial thoughts are that some of the things we talked about in the other videos probably linger in investors' minds, that being of the competitive nature of the grocery industry and its tight operating margins. Another thing out there is the question of how sales could be impacted as the country is reopening. Already, Kroger's, the only grocery store company bigger than Albertsons, is reporting less demand in essential items as restrictions are easing. But the big elephant in the room is the debt that Albertsons is carrying, and that's probably what spooks investors the most, even though Albertsons has improved its operating efficiencies over the past couple of years. Right now, Albertsons is carrying about $8.5 billion in debt, which is actually down from about $12 billion. So yeah, it literally is an elephant weighing the company down at this point. A couple of other things to keep in mind is that none of the proceeds are going to the company, but purely to reimburse the private equity firm owners, and that the way that the IPO was structured, no matter what happened, the current owners will maintain the power in the company, which limits shareholder influence. I have to think that these were the combination of factors that resulted in the underperformance of the initial public offering. So what does that mean for you? Well, if you've been considering investing in the company, it could be a glass half full situation if the shares end up trading for less than you expected, or it could also be a glass half empty situation if now the lackluster IPO has left you questioning what the shares are actually worth. As I've mentioned before, I'm not a financial advisor providing you with any advice to act on. What I try to do is share all of the information that I consider when making an investment decision. While I think there is an opportunity for the business to grow, I do see the factors that contributed to the IPO underperforming. Now, if you do decide to invest, you can start tomorrow as Albertsons will trade under the ACI ticker symbol on the New York Stock Exchange. Keep in mind that just because the IPO valued the shares at $16, the actual trading price could vary by the time trading commences. As I continue to consider the results of the IPO, the current environment, and how I see the market values the stock, I'll share any more information or thoughts that I come up with. I've talked enough. So what are your thoughts on Albertsons? Please let me know in the comments. And again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. As always, I hope that we can all learn from each other on how to take little easy steps in making big improvements in our lives. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, have a great day.